Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Carol Earl Brown. Carol Earl Brown. Don't even know my own name, right? Carol Brown Earl from Bristol, Virginia. As other people are saying that, so I guess it's catching on to me too. <laughs> anyway, um, today's reading from Grant Cardone's book, The Millionaire Booklet: How to Get Super Rich, is Chapter Six, Step Four: Who's Got My Money? This should be good. Anyway, here we go. This is so simple, it's amazing, and it's genius once you understand it. Simply ask yourself, who's got my money? People get into business and make a business plan and never ask the simple question. Make a list of who has your money, the money you want, and figure out what you can exchange with them. Whether you have a service, a product, or an idea, the question to ask yourself is always, who's got my money? You don't need to make money. You need to collect with those who've already collected money, who have money, and exchange what you have, such as skills and knowledge and such, with what they have, money. <laughs> so start investigating most of all, if not all of, your time with those people on your list. Get your millionaire mentality, excuse me, wrapped around this idea and spend every waking hour and all your energy on serving those who need what you have. At the age of 29, when I started my first company, I spent all of my time getting in front of people who could buy my products and spend almost no time with those who couldn't and or wouldn't. My wife and I recently were at a conference and I reminded her, Elena, there are only four to six people we need to meet here. When my staff travels with me to a convention, I remind them, be nice to everyone, but remember we are here to meet people who have our money. <laughs> This must be your foremost focus. If you don't do this, you will miss opportunities and waste time with people who cannot and will not buy or invest in your ideas. Smart man. I sound like a bad, selfish, and greedy man, don't I? Well, no one calls me a bad man when the bill comes for dinner and I pick it up. No one thinks I'm selfish when they need a loan and I'm the only one that can help them because I am liquid. When you want to start a new business with me, I provide the funding, you will be glad, and I will focus on my financing. Let me read that again. When you, when you, when you want to start a new business with me, I provide the funding, you will be glad, and I'm focused on my finances. Hmm. This is just the hard, cold, simple fact of building wealth. Follow the money, as they say. If you spend all your time with people who can't pay you, well, you'll wind up being someone who can't pay. Who's got my money? Is one of the most powerful concepts in the creation of wealth and time. If you spend all your, this is a quote, if you spend all your time with people who can't pay, you will end up being someone who can't pay. One more time, let this sink in. If you spend all your time with people who can't pay, you will be someone who can't pay. Wise man. That beginning said, the more people you can help, the more money you will have. If you want to make a billion dollars, simply help a billion people. The people who need the most help on this planet don't have much money. So they will need you to have money to invent the solutions to help them. Figure out a way to get help to a billion people and you will likely end up with way more than a billion dollars. And you will end up with more than more money. You'll end up with true wealth, friends, support, love, legacy, and worldwide admiration. But let's be clear, you aren't going to help a billion people without either 
having money or finding someone who has money. So ask yourself, who's got my money? And keep asking until you have answers. Once you commit to this concept fully, the money will follow like magic. If you are one of those people who doesn't like to talk to people because you tell yourself you are an introvert or you're shy, get over it. Remind yourself you don't like just getting by or being broke either. When your goals are big enough, you will quit telling yourself lies and making lame excuses. You're not going to become rich from your closest garage or your living room. It doesn't happen. Every one of those garage billionaires got rich when they finally left the garage to sell their idea, invention, or product. Here's another quote. When your goals are big enough, you will quit telling yourself lies and making lame excuses. On my way from being broke to bankrupt, my first five million, all I focused on was who's got my money. I was traveling 300 days a year for over six years, knocking on doors of prospective buyers, investors of my business idea. I provided a service and they exchanged their money with me. I hated every moment of it. It was not something I wanted to do, liked to do, and I had no gut up for every day to do it. I did thousands of free meetings around the US and Canada, traveling at my own expense to make myself known and find opportunities to get in front of qualified buyers in hopes I could raise money to sell my products and increase income. Billionaire Mark Cuba was quoted saying, the most important thing you must learn about any business is sales. Oh, how true. <laughs> sales made it simple. Who's got my money? Once you commit to asking this question, you'll want to learn how to master sales. And I can help you at CardoneUniversity.com. For now, make a list of who's qualified and make yourself known to them. If you have a money shortage, it is because you're investing your time with the wrong people and you're not applying who's got my money. There is no shortage of money on this planet. So if you have none, it's about some deficiency you have regarding money. Time vested on who's got my money will always, always result in money. If you get in front of those who have money and coming away with it, you have to join me at CardoneUniversity.com and I will help you resolve those deficiencies. But first ask yourself, who's got my money? That was an awesome chapter. Well done, Mr. Grant. <laughs> anyway, that's that reading for today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of it. And so God bless. And we'll be back with another chapter tomorrow. Bye for now.